The Buffalo Bills new head coach is still the talk of the town here in Bills country tonight. Seven Eyewitness News reporter Paula Suro talked to some fans as the team heads into yet another era. Liz, as you know, you can find Bills fans everywhere, and here at Canal Side, it's no exception. And today, some fans had a lot to say about their new coach. I'm hoping that he takes us in the right direction. It's been, I don't 15 years now since we've had a winning season, possibly. I can't even remember since I've been a child. It's been 17 years of heartache for Bills fans. Obviously, it's also a struggle at times, uh, keeping optimistic from year to year. 17 years of no playoffs for the team. We've been waiting a long time like everybody else to see them get to the playoffs. But now new coach Sean McDermott shedding some hope for many Bills supporters. We're excited to see what he's got in store for the Buffalo Bills. I watched the press conference yesterday and he just seems like he's all business. A feeling some lifelong Bills fans didn't feel two years ago during Rex Ryan's press conference. This team is going to expect the win regardless of who we play. It was just a complete opposite. It was more just, you know, him throwing out the promises and giving people what they want to hear. When Rex Ryan came in, it was like, why? Why do we want him? He was an AFC coach and now we're taking from a competitor. I personally wasn't a fan, but you know, you got to give him a shot and it didn't work out, so hopefully uh, this guy will do a little bit better. While Friday's press conference had fewer bold promises, it had more hope, especially for fans like Tommy Power. I have a lot of hope that he will be the guy that will be able to, you know, bring him back. But regardless of the coach, the score, or the many years of heartbreak, fans sport their Bills attire wherever they go. And we're a great city, great community. Um, you know, with as much as the Bills have been down, if, if we weren't such a great community, we wouldn't be backing them. In Buffalo, Paolo Suro, 7 Eyewitness News.